Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Fadhakir fa inna dhikra tanfa al-mu'mineen And remind one another or remind because verily the reminder benefits the believer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa amma bi ni'mati rabbika fahaddith Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and as for the ni'mah, the blessings from your Lord, uh, then, you know, speak about it. Tell the people about the great blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ni'am min Allah. And as glad tidings, I wanted to share something which is true related to uh, a video and I was asked to share this, that we did about a brother who was facing prison. And a reason for doing it so, giving it precedence, was because the date for court was actually yesterday, it was Jumwa. And here's what the brother wrote me uh, probably last night. He says, Salam, my brother. All praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful, the most compassionate. My brother, thank you for your message and the YouTube video. It really helped me. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and reward you. Today I went to court and I was awaiting my fate. I saw my solicitor and he advised me it does not look good. <clears throat> the night before and in the morning I prayed to the Almighty and begged him. <clears throat> And begged him for assistance. I did my isti'ana, my istighatha. So he sought, you know, he was seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in hope, putting his hope and his trust with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in my Lord. In court, I kept strong with the help of my Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, promised me. As he promised me, he would not abandon me. I pictured being in the middle of Badr with the beloved messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the companions, surrounded by disbelievers and awaiting my sentence. <clears throat> and awaiting my sentence, my heart stayed firm in the belief that Allah will help. My solicitor said a few words, and the judge looked at me and said, I will give you three months probation period. And I want to see good behavior. You are free to leave. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the greatest. I had tears of joy and my wife had tears of joy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not abandon me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me a victory. Any problem in life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help us. All but we need to repent. We need to have strong tawheed and full belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brother, can you please tell all your viewers about this and tell them all not to give up hope because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never abandon them. I am so grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but the test does not end until we are in our graves. Inshallah, I will continue studying and doing da'wah and be prepared for the next, the next calamity as this world is a testing zone. Jazakallah khairan for your beautiful words of wisdom. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Bless the brother and make his affairs easy and make all of our affairs easy and bless us to take this as a reminder to heed this and practice in our lives to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make tawbah and put our trust solely in Allah that he will relieve us. And I can also bear witness <coughs> in my life so many trials and tests that I thought it was over and Allah knows how fragile and weak I am and he subhanahu wa ta'ala delivered me one way or another so many things, uh, so many blessings and we just can't even begin to count the many blessings in favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and continue to give us blessings in favor to heal us, to cure us, to protect us, preserve us, increase our rizq and bless us and protect us from kulisu wa makruh wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.